So what are the plans for today? Off to Wakaba Springs. Just so the gears are exposed there. <laughs> and it took me a second. <laughs> Oh my, my goodness! goodness. <laughs> Seven days, four Florida State Parks, four great Florida State Parks. Yeah. I just got excited because Brian just said he's not getting in the RV right now because he's going to wheel over to the dump station to do the dumping of the tanks. A lot of times Jared does it, but since we're having a problem right now, um, Brian wants to be there doing it. And Alex, Alex just pointed out, which I don't think Brian thought of, she, she said, oh, so that means you're going to drive the RV over. So I get to drive the RV over to the dump station. Do we have GoPro batteries? Woohoo! That'll be the furthest I've driven the RV in quite a while. All right, all good. I did a good job. So now maybe Brian will let me drive it more. It's really not that bad to drive. I just haven't driven it much in the past five years. So it's a matter of watching my mirrors again and getting used to where exactly it is on the road and how much room I have when I turn. But it's really fun to drive. So in case you're wondering what it looks like in here when we travel, I'm gonna show, cause we've never shown that in a video and it's not that pretty. Brian's out dumping the tanks right now. And then Alex or Jared sits there. One of the twins and of course a dog sit here. The sink gets any and all water bottles and things like that. Everything else is closed up. My Ken has got some snacks up there yet. So this is just a mod podge of whatever will not move around much when we drive. We have these handy dandy locks on here so we don't have to worry about fridges opening anymore. And you'll see the microwave. That's where all the stuff that was on the counter goes. This pantry has been known to fly open a couple times. So we have the chair wedged there. Then, then things turn really ugly. Alex's bed, which is a mash of things. And then our bed, yeah, which has our drawers that go on the side. It has all our pillows, anything miscellaneous. Um, and of course, this is where Brian's ramps go for travels. So we do have like an old junky sheet that we put on here so it doesn't rip up our bed covers. And that's it. Hi, Pepper. Hey, Garmel. This is a very long drive. I did not think it was this far from Dallas. It was 12.30, so it's almost been two hours. So it, it starts raining like a little bit, like a few drops. So mom put mom put the windshield wipers on, <laughs> and we see this. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> and it took me a second. <laughs> and I'm like, what? I have developed the recent habit of if I'm somewhere, I mean, we pick up after the dogs all the time, right? So if the dogs go potty, we pick up after them. We have a doggy bag. Sometimes there is no garbage can nearby, wherever we are, to put the doggy bag. And I'm not going to carry the doggy bag in the car, obviously, because it stinks up the whole car. I've tried that. So we learned from a friend that you just hook it to your windshield wiper in the it's corner. It's foolproof. <laughs> Nothing. And then, and then, Nothing can go wrong here. And then, when you, and then when you stop at a gas station, or, you know, or going by a park or anywhere that has a garbage can, you get rid of it. Yes. <laughs> so, I put it there at the campground because we they actually don't have a lot of garbage. There's the dumpster, and where the dump station was, there's no garbage cans nearby. So, I stuck it on there, and I'm like, oh, when we drive out, we'll go past the dumpster. I'll throw it in. I forgot. We're praying it doesn't rain. disability paper. They had it in the car, so. <laughs> oh wow, this is really like nestled back in. It slides clear on this side, bike so I can get off. Check the other side for the ramps. I'm just check. doing the boards, I'm not doing the platform and all that. So. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. It's super 
I know, I love the overhanging, like, like... It looks like St. Augustine. Yeah. But if we got to be back down here, um, like, end of September, beginning of October from McKenna's doctor appointments, maybe we can get a space in here, because sometimes, like, winter months, this is booked up 11 months out, but maybe, just maybe, I know in the summertime there's some openings in, like, August, so maybe October, beginning of October, we could get in here, because we got to come back here. Yeah, because it's really there's, nice. There were so many amazing things as we were coming in, like that I need to check out, and the trails, and biking, and, and all that. So the gears are exposed there? How did I never know this in three years? Mm -hmm. uh, you gotta bring it in. My fingers won't get so tell us to bring it in. That's good. Wait, keep going. Keep going. That's good. Clear. Wow. Clear. Bring it out. Right, out. I had no idea. Bring like, that big side out. We've right. been doing this for over three years. I didn't know those gears were just I was the one who shoved it in there. Yeah. And we expand again. Now we keep it clean because it's just for one night. We, we, we don't usually like moving this much every like two, three days or whatever. But we had to piece together the reservations. And it's at the Florida State Park, so we're happy. Yeah, they're all good. good. I love all the boardwalks they have going out to the sand dunes at the Florida State Parks because they just put these nice boardwalks in and so you get to kind of walk across the sand dune area and it's like so pretty. Oh, here's a better view of the lighthouse. Let's get this now. Unfortunately, we have to head back. We weren't even out here long, but we are here just one night and Brian and Jared are back trying to fix the freshwater tank leak. Well, that's more at the spigot thing, so that's not as big a deal as the other one. But anyway, they're back there fixing that. We might be needed and we've got to check out in a few hours. And we're not going far though, so we're just going about 30 or 45 minutes south of here, closer to Daytona Beach. So I know most people have heard of Daytona Beach. And so we're just headed south down there and we will be staying in a park that also has a beach side. We're not on the beach side of the camp area. We're on across the uh, A1A, the roadway there. But we'll get some more beach footage the next two days if it's not raining. Ah, there we are again. Bonding at the uh, RV tanks. Yeah. How's it going? It's going okay. We had to, uh, there's not enough room to just put it in the way I had it with the, that reducer coupling. Yeah. So I had to put the coupling on first and then the valve from the front. <laughs> oh. And we had it on there without Teflon tape on this last one. Yeah. Um, but it still was leaking. So I put Teflon tape and we're just doing the final tightening now. RVs are almost worse than houses in the sense that houses, you pretty much can call someone to fix everything for you. Well, but yeah, the, the RV manufacturers don't all do it the same way. That's kind of the problem. Well, plus, if you want someone, like, right away, you can. You know, like, if you're in a house, you can call a plumber. I mean, you're going to pay more, but they'll come right away. With the RVs, sometimes you can't get someone right away. Okay. And if you need a big fix, it could be months. I thought he was just carrying, like, something, like, from Please. the back. Oh, she likes to be held. <laughs> Thank you. Me too. Carmel does not. Give mommy a kiss. I loved Anastasia because the closeness to St. Augustine yeah. is fantastic. Very good. And, and the beach is there, so that's beautiful. You have easy beach access, just a walk or a bike ride up to the beach. Beautiful sights, right? They were huge. And like the canopy, it was like the old southern. Yeah, Spanish moss. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was just, I mean, we drove in and the sights were just gorgeous. Alright, like kind of driving the car? We're just pulling out of our site and then going to the parking lot, basically. Yeah, so I don't think we've ever done this, whereas we're leaving the state park, so we had to pull out of our site, but we still want to see some of St. Augustine. Yeah, and they said, you know, you have to be out of your site by checkout time, but you don't have to leave the park, so just going to park here, take the car into town, and walk around. And this is actually designated RV parking. We didn't just make this up. Uh, just closing now, it's like all that time just for it to decide to close. Yeah, I wonder how long it takes the drawbridge to like, till they stop traffic, 
Open the drawbridge. So this would be the oldest house in St. Augustine. So it's big on the trolley tour. So St. Augustine is a very beautiful city. Very popular though, very touristy. As far as there's a lot of tourists here. I mean, it doesn't look touristy. But yeah, so there's a lot of people here, especially if you come on the weekend. We're here on a Saturday, very crowded. You don't want a backpack so you can carry caramel. I do not want a backpack. <laughs> So lucky for us, the weather forecasters were wrong, right? So we thought, we'll quit going to St. Augustine before it rains, but it's never rained. Yeah, it's been hot, yay. <laughs> <laughs> Too hot for McKenna, but beautiful. So now we just loaded the stuff back from the RV into the car, and now we're gonna go stop at the potty, us girls, and then they're gonna head out a while to Gamble Rogers, and we will meet up at State Park number three. 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 Slides are out. We need to do this more often. Hey, isn't that? No, that's very close to the site. But then there's Gamble Rogers, which we had been at before, years ago before we full timed. That's got the beach, and it's close to to where the dogs can go on. All right, so we're over in that section. Over here's the beach section. But what's really cool is now they have a doggy gate. Because what do we? What's the one thing about Florida State Parks that is not nice? Uh, beaches don't allow dogs. Yeah, beaches don't allow dogs. But what they did here now at Gamble Rogers is at the end of the beach side of the campground, they added a gate. So there's a little doggy gate and you get a special code and get to the public beach because the public beach does allow dogs here. Yeah, so Carmel's gonna go check it out. Not that way. That's not the ocean. Here's your doggy gate. There it is. You can go to the beach, Carla. And so there, there's trails there also. <clears throat> and there's lots of walking because you can go down A1A, there's lots of biking because you can go on A1A. And this is all day, right? That's what stinks is we're having to move in the rain and the lightning. Wow, there just went a lightning bolt. <laughs> um, can you go potty like within 10 foot of the RV please? Because it's nasty. It's moving northward along the coastline. That's not the beach. That's north. That's the beach. The beach is that way. Oh, it is, because there's the Florida beach. I get you did so that last night, too. I get so turned around in <laughs> here. Last night, too. Right. <laughs> beach. <laughs> it moved. The sands and the winds. No, if I, the, the water towers, but no, I get so turned around because the way we wind around is going here. east of the whole system. All right, well, get Daddy and then I'll take the puppies. Right. Time to bring the awning in. <laughs> uh, I'm not getting the laundry out of the washer. Yes, it is. I can see it bouncing. So now there's hail. It's not much, but I can see it bouncing. So what are the plans for today? Bike ride? I was going to go for a bike run. ride. A little, uh, little picnic, maybe. A little time in the ocean. Yeah. Imagine there'd be some nice Ooh, waves. Kayaking would be good. <laughs> Can you imagine? That's it. <laughs> wow. But also, if you go 10 minutes from now, it says it's not even, it's above us by 20 miles, so. <laughs> All right, so we get to I'm going to go with it's raining out. Alligator TV has become lightning TV. 
Oh my goodness. <laughs> that was long. It was worth it getting this window on the back of the RV. This did not come standard. This window cost us $500, was it? Yeah, $600. Oh, 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 over there. there. Oh, wait, I missed it. It was white. Um, Holy cow. Yeah, come up for there was a lot of bolts. <laughs> ah. Wait. It's like it's Two. daylight half the time. <laughs> Oh, oh my, my goodness! goodness. <laughs> we were gonna watch a movie. It's <laughs> been. Ooh. It's so bright. Off to Wakai Springs. Yep. What is it like an hour and a half or something like that? It says an hour and ten minutes. And the best part? We're staying more than two days. Okay, two best parts. <laughs> I don't know. It's full hookups. Oh yeah, full hookups, yes. We've stayed there before, but not had full hookups. Hi there. We're checking in. Okay, and we had a package delivered yesterday. Okay. Late 48. Remember when we were in that one right there? No, I don't. Okay, so this park is kind of tight, this section, this loop is. We got some trees to deal with. Thank you, God, Alex. It's still raining. Okay, yeah, we'll put the awning out because it's going to be a muddy mess. At least it kind of slowed down a little. Do you really want to go out, Carmel? Because it's wet yet. It's still wet. Are you sure you want to go out? So this is an especially nice site, Brian. I didn't even realize. It not only does it have full hookup, but we're right along the path. There's a little trail that leads out to the path. You know how there's oh, all yeah, those that, cool. Yep trails through the woods so we can just access the trails to get right off of our site yeah to get down to the springs nice. or to go down that direction to go out biking yes i think thursday <laughs> might be a good <laughs> well day. I, I hope it's before thursday next thursday don't drop your phone in although it would be kind of amusing to watch that It's not ready yet. I can't show it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good girl, Carl. We look like we're going to the beach. Because we have swimsuits on. Yes. We, we could be going to the pool. pool. No, we're but when we're in pool, Florida we and you have swimsuits, you're supposed to go to the beach. Or the river. Or the springs. <laughs> the, yeah, the springs. Spring. We're going to springs. A lake. Maybe a lake. No, because yeah. there's alligators. The golf, you know. A golf. The there's sea. A sea. Technically, Pond. alligators in the springs also. A creek. Yeah. So a brook. we're not going to the beach a or a brook or okay. That's yeah. canal. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I started that way. So we are not going to the beach. Aqueduct. Yeah. We. <laughs> Sluice. <laughs> we're going to the springs. There's lots of springs in Florida, and I never knew that there were springs you could swim in in Florida all the times we'd come. Because we'd go nice to the beach. It's not nice and warm. It's, not nice like warm. it's warm. It's 68 to 72 degrees here all year round. Going in, Alex? What? Oh, it's way too cold. <laughs> it's between 68 and 72 degrees. I really don't mind that you've all left me, except that you took all the towels. All right, so you guys are driving back. You're walking with us, Alex? It's fun. It's a nice drive back. Why are you sitting like that? So I don't get the seat wet. <laughs> Chair didn't care. Drive quickly, my legs <laughs> don't hit me, buddy. All right, we'll walk back. We'll see you. We'll see you in like a mile. Of the four parks we stayed at in the past week, I'd say Lake Louisa had the most blaze trails just by pure mileage. Next would be Wakaiwa Springs, which has some nice, really, really nice blaze trails also. Then when you get to Gamble Rogers and Anastasia, you're mainly, there's some paths through the woods. They always try and put some, like three quarters of a mile to a mile. But then a lot of that is you're able to walk on the beach, you're able to walk on the campground pads, and you can go out on A1A, um, and walk along that way. And in Anastasia, of course, you can go walking out and walk around 
St. Augustine. Have fun on your run. Where are they going? They didn't take you running. You guys stuck walking with mommy. You seem to be on high alert. Did you smell something? Or are you just looking for the sissies? Something has you out of sorts. Are you missing the sissies? You are right there. Okay. I see your sissies. I see them. Where's McKenna and Alex? She's been very concerned. What? She's been very concerned. Oh gosh, I thought you got lost in the woods. 